What's up guys? How are you? I'm back at it. I'm back with you to show off some of my favorite indie brands. I previously posted a video, which I will link in the description for you, on my review of indie brands. And I wanted to share with you guys uh, a little tutorial on my complexion today using my favorites. So I'm really excited and I'll share why I love them so much as I'm, as I'm doing the damn thing. Um, but let's do complexion and get that going. Okay, so I already have my skincare on. I'm just gonna start with primer. I'm going to use the Youthphoria Pre-Game Primer. What I love about this is it's serum consistency or like lightweight moisturizer consistency. I just like when primers don't really interfere with the makeup, but more so just act as a nice prepping layer so that makeup glides on and as well as stays on. So I focus this mostly in the perimeter of my face where I do have the, the most breakup throughout the day, if any, um, that's where it's gonna occur. And then I just work it outward with a brush. I also really like to add like a luminizing primer at this step, which I'm going to use the Auric Glow Lust. This is one of my absolute favorite products. I use it every single day. Um, I like to use it as like more of a priming situation on the outer perimeter of my face because I kind of like to apply a sheer layer all over this area. It kind of blurs and perfects and will actually filter in front of the camera. So I'm going to use the Clover by Clove concealer on my face. These are the shades five and six. I do have to mix them. They are so full coverage. They are so full coverage that you want to make sure that you're getting your right consistency, your right color. Anything this full coverage, you definitely want to make sure that it is the right shade for you. You don't want to mess around. It definitely can look a little bit crazy if you don't. Of course I picked the windiest day in Los Angeles to film all of this, oh my God. I'm mixing primarily six and then adding some five in there because the color is really right with five. And then just dabbing it on the areas where I want the most coverage. So I've always liked to do this. It warms the product up to the skin the best and allows for the easiest blending. I've compared this to the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye a couple times. This is definitely the most re reminiscent of that formula, but you get those really good sustainable options with this brand. They work a lot with PCR materials. Their ingredient list is real good. Real simple, but high performance at the same time. It's been a while since I've worn this and I'm like remembering how much I love it. I need to wear this like every day. God, I'm just obsessed with my complexion using this. Wow, <laughs> it's so good. I always forget how amazing it is. I just set my under eyes with powder. I actually I don't have an indie brand powder i'm really obsessed with right now so stay tuned i'll definitely be on the lookout if you have any recommendations leave them in for me in the comments i'm gonna highlight now with two different highlights so you can see the effect it's going to be different on each side of the face first i want to show you phytosurgeons this is one of my favorite highlights of all time the two highlighters i'm going to use are drastically different from one another this is your like soft focus highlighter that like people will have to hunt for it on you they don't even know you're wearing it this is phytosurgeon shade dew of dawn and their spectral shine formula and what you want to do is make sure you get a lot of product on the brush you also want to make sure your skin is really dewy in the area where you're going to apply it juicy you don't want to apply it on a top of powder or like matte skin you want to make sure it has something to grip to it needs to melt onto it so i have product on the brush and i'm just starting at the top of the face and you can kind of see how almost it's soft focusing the glow if anything it could be honestly toning down the juice of my skin but still giving that high reflective quality that just looks healthy and like a satin finish do you see that without and with so beautiful for filtering i'm gonna throw a little on my tip of my nose and right on the bridge and it's just the most beautiful satin quality. Again, you really want to make sure you're getting product on the brush and your skin is properly prepped, but it's incredible. Another highlighter I really like is again from Clover, the same brand that I use my concealer from. Um, this is their Clio Highlighting Stick and it is so phenomenal. This is more of a balmy highlight, whereas this is kind of like this hybrid matte cream. This is creamy, balmy juice. And this is really when I want the most juicy, luscious skin. Maybe I'm feeling extremely dry that day. I love to pat this on. It has a really nice glossy finish that's not sticky. And again, it has those amazing ingredients. They're really skin healthy. Um, they are not gonna interfere with anything. And I mean, 
If you like the milk highlighter stick, you would love this. And I think that this color is really universal and I just, I really go crazy for a nice beige tone like this. They've killed it. They've killed this category. I'm gonna use my favorite bronzer now, which is called Toasted from Clove and Hallow. What I first off love about this is that this is a refillable packaging. I have taken this out and used this compact a ton um, and just keep buying the refill pans. This is a foolproof bronzer. If you struggle blending bronzer, try this one. It really just blends out into the softest finish. The shade Toasted is perfect um probably the thing i'm most picky about is bronzers actually cream or powder and i love their cream bronzer and their powder bronzer they just have the most perfect soft bronze quality for my skin i have a neutral undertone that blends so easily it blends so easily guys i just think these are foolproof if you're new to the cream bronzer game this is your number one pick and you can see the difference and how fresh and healthy my skin looks because of it. And the finish is so beautiful. I'm gonna use two different blushes from two different brands today. I'm going to use the Half Caked Angel Blush. This is their Candy Paint Cream Formula. It is so beautiful. This is probably my creamiest, glossiest, dewiest blush on the planet. I love this shade Angel. It's a very soft, neutral pink that works with a variety of different colors and different looks you know what i mean i love to layer my blushes so i'm going to put this one on first and layer something on top but if you build this up if you crank this up it's going to be extremely extremely glossy and balmy but just a sheer layer of this on the skin especially prepped correctly really just looks healthy and stays put all day i love this shade it really is super neutral but that's still healthy flush of pink. They have some of my favorite shades of blushes. I'm keeping this more towards the forward part of my face, under my eye, and then blending outward. I like to take my brush to the rest of the face with what's left on it to bring that color elsewhere. God, my skin just looks healthy, beaming, not dry. <laughs> I'm gonna layer another blush on top of this. This is from Rose. This is their Satin Liquid Blush. So incredible. This is their Liquid Love Blush in Radiance. You need, first off, I love the packaging. Dead for a squeezy pump. Squeezy pump is the elite top tier of the packaging world, okay? You have the sanitation of a pump and then the squeezeability of the tube. Foolproof. So you need the tiniest dot of this on your hand. That's enough for both cheeks. And I'm using kind of a larger, fluffier brush. Again, this is the shade Radiance. And I'm just going to start to top my blush from Half Caked with it. It blends like a damn dream. It's going to knock down the balminess of the Half Caked blush, actually, because of that satin finish. But I'm so impressed with the staying quality of these blushes. They stay so insanely well on the skin. They look so healthy. The shade range is amazing. Ingredients, crazy. Yeah, I'm really excited to see where this brand goes. They just blend like a damn, damn dream. Oh my God, look at that. Again, I don't have a powder that is indie that I'm really crazy about, but I really have been enjoying the Say Airset powder. Smaller brand, how about that? But I think I got Sephora money in their pockets, so. So that's the last step of my complexion using indie brands. Um, I'm going to use the Half Caked Makeup Gel really quick so you guys can see. This is the Get Fluff Gel from Half Caked in 03. Um, I'm gonna do my brows off camera, but I did just wanna show you the tint and also how amazing this brow gel really holds my brow. Oh God, sometimes they do get a little too much on the bristle. You just wanna make sure you have a little spoolie brush on hand to comb through just in case that happens, but the color and the bushiness yeah they really have me floored and this is like a very inexpensive brow gel to buy all i need to do is just fill in where i have little spares areas with a brow pen and i'm set okay that is a full face complexion with indie brands i hope you guys enjoyed i had such a fun time showing you guys some of my favorites i haven't even like touched 
the tip of the iceberg, I feel like. Like there's so many great powder products out there that are killing it. Um, but these are my favorite creams and liquids for sure right now from Indie Brand. And an Indie Brand is just a brand that's not owned by a major corporation or umbrella parents. They are doing it out here. They are mixing it up. They are putting in the work all of themselves. And with that comes a lot of attention to detail. And I can clearly see the attention to detail that all of these brands have given. So hope you guys pick some up. I wanna know your thoughts. I wanna know your favorites. If you've tried any of these, I wanna know. Damn, my skin looks so healthy and juicy. Woo! I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you have a wonderful day.